Hi everyone, this is Karen here, and you are watching the very first video we did on new features. So this is something we decided to start in the new year, but I was a little excited about the project, so I started a little early, and this one's getting done around Christmas time instead. So in this, I'm going to tell you about a new feature and show you a little bit about how it works. So today's feature is the event sessions feature. So first I'm going to show you on the front end, so you can see how it's going to look to your members and website visitors, and then I'm going to show you how the magic is made on the back end. So let's start by taking a look at our annual membership conference here. So when we go here, you can see all the basic things you normally see with our events. And when you register now, you notice that, of course, the member you have to sign in to get that ticket. Um, I'm going to start off by saying one guest ticket. So you have your normal where you can ask the questions, and I'll fill that in. That's always been part of our system or has been for quite a long time at this point. Um, so membership works and let's put an email in there. Okay, now this next part below, that's the new feature that I'm really excited to tell you about. This is where if you're having a big conference, you can find out which sessions your attendees wanna attend. You can also limit the number of each session you sell so you can make sure that um, there's enough room in each room for the sessions. So we're gonna start out with this morning session choice and you can give the people a variety of choices however you want. You can also give them the chance to select that they're not attending a session. So here here, I'm going to say, I want to know how to roll out a new system. And then the afternoon session choice, maybe I want to know uh, deals that people actually use. Um, now, these next two ones below are something a little different in that you can have some session choices that attach money to it. So this keynote lunch, it's more expensive to go to that. So if you register for that, it's an extra $20. Um, same event reception, if you register for that, that's an extra $20. So that, you see, changes the amount from 50 to 90. Now, let's also, this also opens up the chance for somebody to become a member and attend a conference. Now, be careful with this because it does require some administrative work on the back end. So make sure you watch to the end of the video or check out in the help section so you know what administrative work is required if you're gonna offer this option. So let's say that I offer this option here, and you see I have those same choices and morning sessions and after sessions that I have, but then here I also have this membership level session where I can choose to become a business member for whatever the price of that membership level is. And then of course, once it's all filled out, I can put in all my information, type in my credit card and register for the event. So let's take a look at how to set that up as an admin and also how to manage that part if somebody chooses that become a member ticket. So I'm going to come back here and I'm going to go to that same annual conference and we're going to look at ticketing and I've created my tickets here. So um, you can call your tickets, of course, whatever you want. The questions, sessions and add-ons is the feature we're looking at today. So if I click here and scroll down, um, I can go to one that's already created, for example, here. And the first place I'm going to take you is the sessions and add-ons button. If you've already created some, they'll be listed here. But of course, when you first start, you'll have to create them all. So you can click there and you just hit create session. You give it a name, a quantity available. If you give it a price, you'll see that you can decide on payment category. In most cases, this is gonna be an event, but say you wanna offer your um, event registrants a chance to donate $10 when they register, then you can classify it as a donation. Or if it was like that example where they're purchasing a membership, then I'm gonna classify it as a membership payment to make sure that in the back end, all my financials are correct. Um, and then here, if you need to override the tax rate, that'll probably happen if it's a donation, you can do so here. And you can also decide if you're going to allow discount codes for this. Once they're already all created, then you just add a ticket and you can make it this session, select a session or add on. You type your question in here, like in this case, I have morning session, afternoon session, whether or not it's required. Um, and then you choose which options you're gonna allow for that particular question. Now this is set up by ticket, 
So if some tickets, like in that one ticket you saw that you could purchase a membership, so it had that particular option. But in other ones, and that's that business and personal member we see here, in other ones, they didn't come with a membership, so it didn't have a question asking that. So that's um, how that's done. It's fairly easy to create. Now, managing that membership portion, let's talk about that a little bit. Over here in the dashboard, um, you can see I've got um, Wilma Jefferson, and she chose the Become a Member and Attend a Conference ticket. So remember that when they have a head, it lets you know they have an account in the system, and that plus tells you they don't. So if we want to make her a member, we're just going to click on that plus. We're going to choose the folder for her. We want to put her in the members folder and hit create. Now she's got the head. We can pull her up and over in membership billing, we can put her on that business member. We'll leave her at manual billing and we'll, uh, we can send her that new member welcome email here. And then we'll go to the timeline and add her next renewal date. And that is right over here. And maybe it's a year from now. So we'll make this 2019. And that's it, done. So there is a little bit of that admin work like you just saw, but it's not too crazy. So it depends whether you have 100 people signing up for this level or 1,000 people signing up. It can be real different. Although 1,000 people becoming new members is the problem that we all want, right? Okay, so that is our new registration event sessions um, feature. Feel free to send us an email or give us a comment if you have any suggestions for us and let us know if this video was helpful in giving you ideas on how to use that new feature. Thanks and y'all have a great day.